Hello, it is Saturday, December 24th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Saturday puzzle today, which means a themeless and very possibly quite difficult puzzle. It is meant to be the most difficult puzzle of the week. After all, on Saturday, we'll see if that uh, holds true. And this potentially tricky edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Tom Nemchek, Alan Blunder, Jake Rodkin, and, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Shullmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support in bringing us this series and sustaining this channel. I do very much appreciate that. If you'd like to become a benefactor yourself, like those five, and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash dailysolve or in a link in the description field underneath this very video. And of course, by following that same link, you can also become a patron at any level of support. And in doing so, you'll gain access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week Thank you to everybody who has done that at any level. I do very much appreciate it. It really does sustain this channel. So thank you for that. Uh, also subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, and consider joining the Daily Solve Discord chat server. That's free. And there's a link in the description field to that as well. So, all right. It is uh, December 24th. It's Christmas Eve. I will tomorrow, I, I'll be <laughs> traveling um, on a red-eye flight overnight tonight. So um, I think there's a very high likelihood I will not have it in me to find a location, suitable location to record and manage to get the, the recording out in a timely manner. So um, you may have to do without that tomorrow, but I have recorded some extra videos and I will release one of those tomorrow, assuming I'm not able to do the standard recording, which I, which I don't think I will. So that is drawn from a week of interesting sort of crossword setting experiments from 2015. And I recorded a few of them and I will release the first uh, solve of those tomorrow in lieu of the standard crossword. But speaking of standard crosswords, we are going to do one right now because I am here and I am about to record this crossword solve. And so here we go. This is a Saturday themeless puzzle, as noted. It was constructed by Trenton Charlson, who's constructed several dozen puzzles for the New York Times. And it was edited as always, by Will Shorts. So let's find out what's in store and start solving. Here we go. Ancient arts venue. Um, a forum or an agora or an odeon? An agora is a marketplace. Or odeon, I think, is one. Not, let's look at the um, downs. Cries of exasperation. Could be oys. As an oy vey, I'm, I'm wanting it to start with an O because of Odeon. So let's, let's, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this. Revenue source, for, oh, revenue source for a Girl Scout troop. Um, boys, uh, Girl Scout cookies or something like that? It doesn't, no, it doesn't quite fit. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Bush growth. This could be bushes in the Australian bush. But it's pretty open-ended, so I'm not sure. Air France hub. Orly, there's a, um, at one of the Paris airports is Orly, so I bet that's it. That would work with Odeon as well. And prefix with classical, neoclassical is entirely plausible. So this looks, this is looking very, very um, likely. So I'm going to put it, put it in there. 1979 J.D. Suther hit with a rhyming title. It looks like your, but I don't. This isn't really ringing any bells to me. Let's see if... Does that help with this bush grow? Oh, eucalyptus trees? That's an Australian thing. Oh, that works. That might be it, actually. Wow. So what is this one? Ugh, we nearly had it. Oh, so close, yet so far? I guess it could be but so far. I think yet is more often used in that idiom, but or that sort of phrase, but yet, I'm not sure. So let's keep solving and see if we can confirm or deny that. Department of Labor Arm could be OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Hazard Agency or Administration, something like that. Okay, they oversee workplace safety, among other things. Forcefully is hard, I suppose. I mean, that's the most straightforward way to fill that. A beam of sunlight could be a ray of sunlight. Oh, this looks like door. Door-to-door door 
sales or something. I mean, that, that fits, but I'm not confident enough to just drop it in. Let's look at the crosses. NL East team on scoreboards. Not sure that'll be a baseball team. Edmund Blank, a.k.a. the father of whist. Oh, that's funny. That's a card game. Whist is a card game. Uh, so I wonder if that makes it Hoyle, as in the book of Hoyle publishes rules of card game rules, but also decks. I think best known probably for decks of card games. But there's a phrase, according to Hoyle, that I think derives from the sort of rules of card games that they published. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's something to that effect. Let's look at the crosses. Got it. Aha, perhaps. And this could be Atlanta, I suppose, the Northeast, nor, uh, sorry, um, Northern League East. Did I say Northeast? NL East, Northern League, or national, sorry, National League East. I'm just completely discombobulated, seemingly. Anyway, it might be Atlanta for the National League East team. But let's keep looking. Magazine purchase could be an app something. If it were an electronic magazine, I'm not sure. Pontiac for one. Pontiac is, I think, a... I think they're defunct. Car, car make, but it was named after a person of a particular Native American tribe. I don't remember... Well, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if this is referring to the actual person. Or maybe it's not a person. Maybe this was also a tribe. Maybe Pontiac was also... Ah, I'm not sure. Sorry. Uh, this isn't very, <laughs> very useful <laughs> recollection, so I'm going to move on. Blank art, laser art or something? Doesn't seem right. Actor George of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. George... Yeah, I don't think I know. Nifty, neato, maybe. And step toward nirvana. Could be a verb or a noun. It could be taking a step toward nirvana. In other words, step towards it. Or it could be a step. A step on the way towards nirvana. But I'm not sure which it is. Casting choice could be... Well, it could be referring to casting for a film or a play or something, but it could also be referring to fishing. So casting your line. So it could be, I don't know, a particular bait or method or something. The willies fear, just in a general sense. The will, I mean, the willies is a, is a way to describe fear. I've got the willies. I have fear. Ophthalmologist prescription is an eye, oh, eye drops maybe if you have irritated eyes. And bottom row key, alt, the alt key on a, on a computer keyboard. I guess specifically a Windows keyboard or PC keyboard. Uh, Bonner, who painted the horse fair. Ooh, I'm not sure off the top of my head. So what does this look like? You're on my... Is that right? Does this look like anything? No, I don't... No, it doesn't seem likely. You're, oh, you're only, mate. You're only, oh, you're only lonely because it says a rhyming title. There we go. Not the first time those words have been rhymed in a song, only the lonely, etc. Okay. Does that help with this casting choice? Oh, fly fishing, fly something. Oh, and, th and that, right. I didn't realize with eye drops, we already confirmed this was so yet, sorry, so close yet so far. And that Y in fly works with that. So casting choice. Oh, fly rod. Fly rod. That's that's a fishing rod. And step towards Nirvana is... Not sure. What about this? Axe target. Oh, odor. So this would be axe, the deodorant. And then the deodorant brand. And then more than sore is irate, maybe? You're not just sore. You're not just a little bit irritated. You're quite furious. I don't think I know what this is. I mean, Satori looks likely to me with an S, but I, if you asked me to explain precisely what that represents, I wouldn't be able to, so I might wait to put it in until I have more going on, but it looks familiar. Smoothing fruit. Oh, sorry, smoothie fruit. Uh, papaya, I guess? Are those particularly used in smoothies? They fit with the PIPA. Is undecided. It pens. It's still a pending decision. It is undecided. 
old pad holders are stenos. They um, stenographers hold a steno pad. In fact, that in itself is a is a phrase. A steno pad, a particular kind of format of writing tablet, I suppose. Uh, comics read from left to, or sorry, from right to left. So that would be in the Japanese style of manga, which are read, well, not manga, manga specifically, but Japanese publications in general are read in that manner, Japanese writing, and then constantly evolving social phenomenon, a meme is reproduced and modified. Singer actor Gibson in the Fast and Furious franchise, I don't know, this doesn't ring a bell, uh, Kyrie, uh, I, I don't know, to try for a hit, oh, to bat maybe, to, to bat in baseball, to try for a hit, Tyrone, I just don't know. I don't know this name. In no time, before you know it, we'll have solved this crossword. And Southern Comfort cocktails are Alabama, looks like Alabama Sours or Alabama. Not sure. Desert Home, maybe. Or Dessert Home, I suppose. Oh, Rosa, Rosa Bonner. And then, okay. Oh, nod. I gave it the nod. I gave it the okay. Ah, a desert home could be made of adobe, so sort of mud brick homes. And then Tyrese, or Tyrese, hall monitors for short, are RAs, residential assistants, uh, in sort of university dormitories, for instance. And then this is Tyrese. Okay, so there we go. Completely consume is engulf it engulfed me it completely consumed me that sounds plausible so alabama slammer i don't know alabama sling i mean a sling is a is a category of cocktail but that's obviously not long enough like the singapore sling famously westernmost city in the african mainland it must be dakar and good day abbreviation of uh, friday as in good friday the date of significance in Christianity, and then letters used in the absence of a letter. Hmm, not sure what that's getting at. Alabama, what is what is this? Uh, I'm still not sure. End of many addresses could be com, as in dot com, a web address. I suspect it is. Oh, this says cocktails pluralized, so maybe slammers. Alabama slammers, I bet, is what it is. I've never heard of that, but I suspect that's correct. Sockeye relative, that's a type of salmon. Coho is also a type of salmon. So coho would be relatives of sockeye. And then blank luck, lots of luck, you might say. And vitamin stat. I don't know. What's a statistic related to vitamins? Oh, recommended daily allowance, RDA. This looks like it ends with third. Oh, right. Symphony originally dedicated to Napoleon Bonaparte is Beethoven's uh, third. So, yeah, Beethoven famously, furiously scribbled out his uh, his dedication to Napoleon as uh, as Napoleon's ambitions became more... Arguably dictatorial, I suppose. Or imperial, I guess, maybe more accurately. Uh, old televangelism organization. I don't know. A 1970s to 80s sitcom setting. Setting, so a location in which a particular sitcom took place. I'm not sure. The accuser of our brethren per revelation. I'm not sure. Be interesting to see the answer to that. Um, Talia Aga, uh, sorry, I can't quite read this. Aglaya and Euphrosine in myth. I am not sure. Um, I feel like I should probably know this, but I can't think off the top of my head. Uh, longevity is life, or probably not that. Seat in Parliament, question mark. And why does the question mark need to exist there? Why did I type eucalyptic? Sorry, eucalyptus trees. That's strange. Did I say eucalyptic or did I say eucalyptus? I only just noticed that. 
They're called eucalyptus trees. That was strange. Um, winter hours in St. Louis are... Um, which ones are winter hours? Those would be those standard times. So St. Louis would be probably central standard time. It's not far enough east to be east, I don't think. It would be something standard time. Um... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I don't know. Things fall apart, novelist. Uh, Akebe, Achebe? How do you pronounce this name? Sorry. Akebe? I, 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 I know that I know I am 100% certain this is correct, but I'm not confident in my ability, ability to remember the correct pronunciation. Shape of logistic curve, an S curve, I suppose. And Blank Productions Media Company since 1986. I don't know. I have no idea if I'll recognize this when I see it. What's measured in watts? Is electrical power? Yeah, okay. That fit perfectly straightforwardly. Election night figure is a percentage, I suppose. Percentage of the vote that went to a particular candidate. Oh, this will be Harpo. This is Oprah Winfrey's production company. Okay, so I was aware of this. So it's her name backwards, of course. Oprah Harpo. Okay, Roman emperor who overthrew Galba looks like Otho. So that must be it. Definitely something I would not have been able to pull out of my head without crosses. Takes credit in a way. Owns? You, you own the solution, you take the credit for it. A kerfuffle is a row, an argument. Oh, this doesn't look correct. Creamed. Yeah, okay, I must have something wrong. But a kerfuffle is a row, so I'm going to leave that there. Creamed is, I don't know how to hear these again. I will lend an S. The graces, are these the graces in myth? Uh, I, wish I, I wish I could be 100% certain about that. Longevity, team that moved back from St. Louis in 2016 informally. No idea. Um, St. Louis. Is there St. Louis Cardinals card? I'm not sure. Okay, one way to run. Okay, what if I... I'm sure there are things I haven't even looked at yet, probably up here. Uh, I know, maybe not. Have I looked at everything? Means of escape, a bus... <laughs> nothing, that's not anything. Seat in Parliament. Oh, it could be... It could be arse, so... This could, this could be, even though obviously there are many more parliaments than the British one, I think this might be referring to Britain by, by virtue of sort of signaling parliament, in this case implying the UK parliament, and so your seat, your rear end in British English would be your arse. So there we go. Okay, does that help? Oh, door-to-door -door sales. Did I not, did I try that or did I try something else? I don't remember. Uh, revenue source for a Girl Scout troop, door-to-door -door sales. Okay, so it is effectively Girl Scout cookies. Um, but maybe they sell other, th other things as well. I don't know. Okay, magazine purchase. Oh, an ad, right. So a purchase, not a consumer purchase, but a corporate purchase. They would purchase an ad page, maybe a full-page ad, as opposed to a quarter page or something. So blank art is... I don't know. Ad page might be wrong. Um, Bob Blank to kill a mockingbird villain. Oh, uh, you, Ewell? Is it, is it, is it Bob Ewell? I need to check, check the cross. Oh, Ottawa. Pontiac for one. Ottawa. So was, Pont, was Pontiac a member of the, of, was Pontiac an Ottawa? Is that, I think, I think that must be the case. If this is indeed Yule, I think that's true. I think that's correct. Kill a Mockingbird. Longevity. Oh, legs. It's got legs. It's got longevity. There we go. And, okay. This isn't the cards. Team that moved back from St. Louis in 2016. I just don't know. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, LA Rams. I, that's a team that has moved around. I've heard, I've certainly heard about that. I bet that's what it must be. So what, 
Were they the St. Louis Rams at one point? I didn't know that. Creamed, oh, ate alive. We really creamed them. We, we ate them alive in the, I don't know, the match against the LA Rams, I guess. You could say, the accuser of our brethren, oh, it must be Satan. There we go. Okay. Per revelation. And one way to run, oh, you could run late. Okay. And then, oh, sitcom setting Mel's. Is that happy days? No. I don't know. No, what was said in... I don't know. George Lucas' film American Graffiti was... Uh, involved Mel's Diner in San Francisco, and they make a really big deal about that, I can tell you. <laughs> They're very pleased about that fact. I'm not sure what this is referring to. I'd probably know if I saw it, but I, I can't think. This looks like the word outlet. Oh, means of escape. A means of escape could be an outlet. And here we have a oh, latte art, right? The foam, the, the art made in the microfoam on a latte or cappuccino. Okay. And then George, so if this were Satori, George Siegel, I mean, that's perfectly plausible. This is a pretty tough cross, I would say. Step towards Nirvana and actor George, if he's afraid of Virginia Woolf. I mean, they're not overlapping knowledge areas. So, I mean, it is, it's certainly valid, but they're, it's a tough, I would say that's a tough cross, at least for me. Let's see if it works. It does. And that was the Saturday puzzle. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that was tough, tough at, at points throughout, I would say. Uh, that last cross, I did have to save that to, to, to the end, which I tend to do when I'm not quite certain, because then if it's wrong, I can immediately try something else uh, without having to sort of hunt through the grid. Um, lots of some nice long um, grid spanning answers here. You're only lonely, so close yet so far, which is how I was towards the end of that puzzle. Electrical power and Beethoven's third, a really nice collection of knowledge and phraseology and sort of Sci well, sort of cultural knowledge, scientific knowledge, I suppose, in a light way, um, phraseology, and then pop culture. So there we go. And um, and that was the crossword. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, very, very Saturday puzzle, I would say. Um, tricky, not as sort of, uh, not as sort of intentionally lighthearted as the cluing is on a Friday puzzle. It's a bit more serious and a, and, and a bit more difficult, I think, on a Saturday. And I think this fit in well with that kind of pattern. Let me know how you fared, though, and what you thought of the puzzle. I'm always curious in the comments or the Discord chat server. And um, that's that. So again, tomorrow, most likely, we'll be here with a replacement video, not the uh, current Times crossword. But I hope you would enjoy that regardless. And until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care. Thank you.